So let's look at creating <coughs> a pet-friendly colouring book in Affinity Publisher and using Designer for the images. Sourcing vector images is fairly straightforward. I get mine from Design Bundles and there's a link there that will take you to them. Now it's a reference link and if, uh, if you by any chance purchase any of these I'll probably make a few pennies. It'll pay for the coffee. But never mind, you, there's a thousand places on the internet where you can obtain suitable vectors. So I encourage you to go and look for them so that you end up with a wide variety of vector images. Vector images are best because it's relatively easy to just reduce even complex images to their simple outlines. After all, you only want the outlines and you can enlarge or reduce the images as you like. You might decide to use different size books. So you can easily scale the images without them going all jaggy and horrible. Now the trim size. <clears throat> In this case we're using a specific trim size but you can select your own. Typically a colouring book is anywhere from 16 to 60 pages with black and white interior line art. We'll set this book to 60 pages. And colouring books are best as one-sided sheets so the colour doesn't um, interrupt the image that might be on the reverse side. Because uh, images often, the colour often bleeds through to the other side of the paper and you don't want that. When you're preparing the art for the interior and cover, keep the following in mind. Line art should be at least 300 dpi. If your interior is going to have bleeds, be sure your art is large enough to accommodate a 0 0.125 bleed. Okay, I found this on the web. Hmm, Siri interrupting, isn't that fun? KDP requires PDF submissions to use bleed, so remember that. If you're submitting your PDF to KDP, it must have bleed. Your cover will print in colour, so your cover artwork should be at least 300 dpi and also must accommodate the bleed, so your images go right out to the edge. Your cover will consist of a font, front, spine and back, plus bleed, and we'll do that in the setup. So here's your inventory. KDP cover template, which we'll get in a moment, and 30 colouring images. What could be simpler? Even though it might take you a little while to find the images, find them, locate them, and put them in a folder on your drive where they're easy to locate. Now, the preparation. First thing, obtain the correct KDP template. Work out your trim size. In this case, 8.5 by 11. Work out the number of pages you want. 60 pages, 30 images. That's one image per sheet of paper. On one side only, not the reverse. Go to KDP cover page download. And you'll see the, the um, link for that right at the bottom of the page. But you can find it anyway. You've probably got a KDP account by now. Enter the appropriate numbers and download the zip file. So you find your trim size, 8.5 by 11, and put in the page count, 60, and white paper, download cover template. As soon as you click that, it will download it. 8 by 10, 8.5 by 11, sorry, 60 pages, white paper, and the template will download as soon as you click download cover template. Now, to set up the cover. Your document size or preset layout will be the front plus back plus spine by 11 inches of height. So you've got 17.14 by 11. Your bleed will be 0 0.125 on all sides. This will match the KDP template of 17.39 uh, sorry, and 11.25. Now you can see where have I got the 17.14 from? That's 8.5 by 2. That's 17. 
the spine width you can see in the middle of the downloaded template there spine width is 0.14 so you add that 17.14 times 11 your bleed will be 0.125 on all sides so you add a further 0.25 which makes it 17.39 by 11.25 that's the size of your document now let me show you where you set that that's just looking at your KDP cover template again 8.5 by 11 and a 14.14 spine width okay here's where we do it have I got everything right in the display there this time yes create a new document with the following specs now you can use a preset the 8.5 by 11 if you like in the print presets and that will give you inches and most of the other stuff is there and adjust it your document size should be now changed to 17.14 by 11 inches that's the size you set it not the size you worked out before that's the size of the KDP template it's 60 pages in the manuscript size so I've got number of pages there is one but you change that to 60 sorry if we create which what are we creating here the cover okay one page sorry remember that when we come to do the interior I'm confusing myself there hmm hopeless case 300 dpi cmyk and the margins all around are the same and the bleed all around is the same now before you click on create we've got to create a custom preset this is where I just made a mistake I did this when I was making them confusing cover with interior so check your sizes carefully and you can see here I have created the preset coloring book cover 17.14 by 11 one page CMYK include margins and include bleed then you press create and what you end up with is a one page document with a master the appropriate size go to file place and locate the KDP cover template in your master don't forget to save your work at this stage coloring book cover 8.5 by 11 BW 60 nice now check that all the sizes are correct I've got the master page highlighted there but you can see if you go to document spread spread setup it shows you I'm using the coloring book cover preset the dimensions are 17.14 by 11 inches now save your cover with a memorable name reducing the opacity of your KDP master to about 30 percent you don't want it blanking everything out but also by doing that you can see that your KDP master and your preset bleed lines match exactly now I've colored my KDP bleed lines uh, my cover bleed lines red instead of their default blue so I can match them with the red of the KDP now we set up the content this is where I got confused before the content must be a different master file you can't do your content and your cover in one file now change the numbers you can use the start with the same preset but then save it as a new preset custom preset name coloring book to interior width 8.5 height 11 number of pages 60 now you'll see I've still got number of pages one over there on the right hand side change that to 60 because I'm using the original preset that I just made for the cover and I'm about to save this as the interior now the margins 
uh, 0 0.75, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and 1.25. That's just so that it's not crammed up on the spine side and plenty of room on the outside edge. The bleed is zero in the center of the page, the left hand edge, inner if you like, the outer and the top and bottom are 0 0.125, standard bleed margins. And again you will see if you compare them to the KDP template that the margins and bleed lines line up, not the margins, sorry, the bleed lines line up. You can see there I've changed the bleed lines to red, so they're a bit clearer to see. The default's blue. Just change them to red in the document setup. Save your work, both the cover and the interior files. You can see I've changed it to colouring book interior rather than colouring book cover. Now we're ready to do, thing, do two things, create the cover and create the content. Open the cover project file again, and there you have it. You can leave the KDP template showing for the moment because it gives you a good clue as to where you can print, where you can put your images and printable material. So hide the master page, we won't use it for now. Select the page that is showing. It's only one page and that's the page you're going to put your detail on. Hide the KDP template image for now. We shouldn't need that now. Drag out a coloured background texture that goes from bleed edge to bleed edge. Now I've just used an antique paper colour there. Texture patterns are available again from design bundles and many other sources. If you've been doing this for a couple of days, you've probably already got a collection of textures and things like that. Remember that goes from bleed to bleed. Go back to the master page and enable the KDP template image. Check your margins and that your texture is on the bleed lines. And you can use this to place your cover title and images in the right place. See where it says paperback book cover template 8.5 by 11? A good a place as any if you're going to just type in a text title for your book. Let's place the cover image. I'll use the collection of pets that I have in one image for this. Place two vertical guides on the page, one at 7.75 and the other at 9.39. So you have inner margins to work with. You don't want your images going over the spine. It's okay for the texture because that will cover the entire cover of the book and give it that textured look. But because there are no margins showing on this cover page, certainly no inner margins, you can use guidelines. And that's what they're for. They're your inner margins if you like. Place two picture frames to hold cover images. You can see I've got them there. A couple of picture frames, one on the right, one on the left. And they fit within the margins and those guidelines. The size you can see there, 7.25 by 9.25. Place the cover images front and back. The back cover is shortened a little to clear the barcode box. And you can see the cover image on the front, I've got some a circle full of animals there. And the back, it's kind of line art, but it fits only within the picture frame and in that area, but clears the barcode area, because the barcode will overwrite anything on the back. You can't have that blocked off. That's where your barcode goes that KDP will assign to you. By the way, don't mess around using your own barcodes, just use or opt to use one supplied by KDP and you'll get that in the publishing section. 
Now place the book cover title on the cover page. Place any back matter you want to on the back cover page and your cover is finished. And you can now export it to your first PDF file to send to KDP. <clears throat> so, so export it to as a print file. You don't have to do anything fancy. But make sure you've got all the bleeds lined up. Everything's perfect and everything's within those margins. If it's outside the margins and bleed, KDP will protest and reject the book and you'll have to fix it up again. Now it's a colouring book, so I haven't got a lot of back matter on there. But some people like to put their own photograph and who they are and what they're doing and fill up the page with all sorts of stuff that I suspect not too many people read. But... Yeah, no. Now, that's your finished cover. I've exported it to a, to a PDF file, and that's what it looks like. The finished cover. Now, the next step is create the content. Lovely. Add a title page to the first page, page 1. This title must match the front cover title or KDP will reject the book. If you've got My Pets Colouring Book in this page, then the front cover that we just did must also be My Pets Colouring Book. Now I've got a subtitle on there, which is on the cover, which is part of it, but you don't really need that here. We'll see. But that's my front page. Very simple, very straightforward. Now what I've done is place a border on every recto page, just for fun. So place an image frame on the recto page of the master and place a pet border in the frame. Well in this case I've got a border of pets. All sorts of dogs doing strange things. They're kind of cartoon dogs. So that putting it in the master, it appears on every recto page. It makes the colouring page look a little more interesting because the images I'm going to use are fairly small, fairly simple images. This is a this is a book for young people. And I mean really young children. On the verso page we'll just place a line border. In this case it's a classic gold frame. Because these borders are on the master page they appear throughout the book so you don't have to put them on each page. And that's a simple gold frame. Now because your image will show through the page probably, the child can trace or draw their own images on that blank page. Leave, the, leave, it, leave them room for expression. Okay, last thing for this section is to move the title slightly and make it a better looking fit. You can see I've got it splattered across the page there. Now we need at least 30 line images. Be careful here with these as you don't want them breaking any copyright codes or otherwise upsetting people. Modify where possible and credit where you must. Collect all images into one easy to find location. I don't know how many I've got there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 5, 8 to 40. So I've got 40 images there. And I've only got 30 pages to fill. So that's plenty. Now let's start placing the images on the pages. For this we should use picture frames. Place an empty picture frame in the recto page of Master A. It will be on the same place in all pages. So fit it neatly there and it will, re it will appear nicely on all the pages. Now there's our first image placed and it's actually placed as you can see on page 3. Page 1 is the title, page 2 is the verso page which is blank and page 3 is the first colouring image. And it sits nicely in there. Continue with image placement until all pages are populated. And you can see down the list there I've got well, it scrolls down so far, but I've got a number of... All the images are in place there. Next, 
Export your interior to a PDF print file. Make sure you select include bleed and all pages. Not all spreads, all pages. Then export your cover to a PDF print file, including bleed. Click on export. Check both documents carefully. Can't stress that enough. Now, publishing your colouring book, the really exciting part, this is fairly straightforward, so I won't go through all the steps here, but log into your KDP account and click on the paperback icon. And you can see where I've already started my colouring book, and you can save a draft as you proceed. You can see in the centre at the bottom there, paperback draft. So I started it and then saved it as a draft. So you can come back to it and edit it. Just be careful with KDP. Take your time and make sure you understand what it's asking. I urge you to create your book description before you start this section. You cannot create that really great description on the fly. This is part of the page where you enter the book and author details and description will come up there and you need to be able to put in a sufficient description to attract people to your book. This is what people will see when they see it on Amazon. Now, published and review. Review can take over a week sometimes so don't be impatient and start writing letters and complaining and banging on a drum. Just give the reviewers time. It will happen. You'll either be rejected, and they usually tell you why, um, or it will be accepted, in which case it will then go live. You can see my travel journal just down there, which I've done previously, is live. Sudoku puzzles is live. The marriage in a cold climate, one chapter. Very interesting. For 77p, grab that and have a good read. Now, My Pet's Colouring Book, Home is Where the Dog Is, is in review. There you go. I hope you find success with publishing. That's all, folks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give it a thumbs up. Click on the thumbs up symbol and click on the bell. You'll be reminded when new, new videos the tongue-tied narrator appear. Thanks for watching.